How is it going, IGN Live? I am so excited to be here. We have a very special look at Phantom Blade Zero, which is a brand new action RPG featuring a dark art style, fast-paced combat, and a kung fu punk-inspired style that blends traditional wuxia combat with a unique fantasy flair. Here to show us a extended look at Phantom Blade Zero gameplay, please welcome the founder of S Game, Soul Frame, and community manager David Zhang. Welcome. It's so great to have you both here. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, so obviously, you guys had a big reveal last year at the PlayStation Showcase. What's your experience been like since that uh, original release? Yeah, it's way over our best expectations. <laughs> and we were overwhelmed by all these positive feedbacks from all over the world. We can't thank you enough for loving us. <laughs> and today, we'll bring you something more exciting. Yeah, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody for showing so much support for the game. Um, for all of our previous uh, promotional material, we showed a lot of cinematics, a lot of the story, and a lot of just like things to get people excited. And today we're here to show gameplay. So the point of this demo, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the point of this demo is that you know we have overwhelming feedback saying that the game looks amazing, everyone's so excited. But like, what is the gameplay like? Does it actually live up to what the trailer shows? And we're here to show you today that it absolutely does. So yeah, we are diving into gameplay yeah. through the demo. What went into putting this demo together? Yeah, we'll, we'll play it here. Yeah, um, yeah we, it's really great to be here to walk you through the whole process of the demo. Yep. Yeah, you can see it's really a demo, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely a work in progress. Yeah. 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 So yeah, let's go through the tutorial. I will be the guy who is playing, mm -hmm. and David will do the majority of the talking. Yeah. Okay. Sounds cool. great. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Uh, so right off the yep. bat, uh, this is a demo. But yep. do we get any story beats in the demo? Well, for this demo, we focus on the combat itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> For this demo in particular, because it is demoed at SGF, we wanted to, um, there's not a whole lot of time for players to play. So we really want to focus on what everyone is most interested in, which is the core combat, the core gameplay that people are going to be engaging with most of the time. Yeah. So what were sort of your main expectations for players to get to experience as part of this demo? So um, the main expectation is that we really want to shove all facets of combat. Um, so this demo is really put together to showcase a sequence of uh, fights uh, with various different types of enemies using various different types of weapons that are going to be present in the game. Um, because we feel that um, right now the thing on everyone's mind is what the combat is going to be like. So that is what we want to show off the most. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, with previous trailers and sort of examples of the game, uh, there were a lot of Soulsborne comparisons. Um, yeah. Would you say that those are accurate? Well, I wouldn't say that. Um, although our map is a multi-layer, multi-pass, Souls-like map, but actually we're combining the old, more old-fashioned, combo-driven, traditional action into a Souls map. So it's kind of a combination of these, these two archetypes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you will see that. You will see that. Yeah. Yeah. It's super fast paced, so yeah, it's combo driven and you have very fancy combo and you see it here. Yeah, yeah I think the Soulsborne comparisons, um, upon first glance, you might think it looks kind of like a Souls game, um, but really once, as soon as you see the combat, it's quite different. It's a little bit more akin to the combo style gameplay present in something like yeah. Devil May Cry, for example. Um, very fast paced, hyper aggressive. Um, heavily inspired by like Chinese wuxia um, uh, martial arts, mm -hmm. um, and something that's very kind of present in that kind of style of fighting Let's do is a this very like basic just attack first. yeah, it's like very acrobatic, very a lot of showmanship in the fighting, um, and we we really want to represent that in the game. Amazing. Yeah. We talked about uh, you just mentioned Devil May Cry. Are there animation cancels included as part of the combat? Yes, absolutely. Definitely. Um, so there's a lot of animation cancels with both your primer weapons and later you'll send a tutorial, you'll showcase the phantom edges, which are kind of like these gadgets that you can use as well. Um, there's various ways to string together combos from uh, multiple weapons together, as well as like your ultimate and then your phantom edges to kind of create these awesome long combo strings. 
Yeah, that's always something that was super, you know, top of mind for me when looking at the gameplay. Is it just it looks yeah. so cinematic, so cool. It feels like everything sort of blends together very well. Yeah. Um, you talked about weapons. You can kind of see one of the weapons right yep. here. Uh, which weapon is this one? So this one is the one-handed sword, um, and then you can see on the yeah. other slot you have the dual blades. Yeah. Now let's shift to dual blades. Yeah. Yep. So what? What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What weapons do players have access to, and will there be yeah. more available in the full game? In the full game, there'll be a wide variety of weapons. Yeah. In the demo currently, I believe we show four different weapons. Um, we show them across multiple archetypes. So here you see the dual blades and the one-handed sword. We also have like a long straight sword and then a great sword later in the game to kind of show off different uh, types of weapons. Actually, we have 30 in all. In total, 30 all or right. more. Yeah. yeah, 30 or more yeah. weapons. Yeah. <laughs> And also, we have this Phantom Edge, which is a secondary weapon. Yeah, talk to me about yeah. Phantom Edges. What, what are yeah. they? Yeah, it's something like this. Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> yeah. And you can also shift to another one. Uh, here is a bow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. So there'll be a wide variety of fandom edges kind of covering a bunch of different gimmicks in combat. So the bow might be used for, for example, sniping down longer ranged enemies. Maybe if you want to go for a, a bit of like a pre-planned approach where you see an archer in the distance, you might want to snipe them before engaging with the melee enemies. Um, there with the tiger hand cannon, very flashy. You can actually use that mid-combo if you animation cancel correctly to kind of blast enemies right in the face or use it from a distance to kind of knock enemies to the ground. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's so the, exciting. The, the parrying system, I think it's a very unique system in our mm -hmm. game. Um, let's show you the concentration mode, and you can move while you are defending. And let's do this. Yeah, so the defense... I the just team. hold it here. Yeah. So there's a, there seems to be almost like a guard break mechanic. Can yeah. we talk to me about that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, like right below the health bar, there is your um, Shachi meter. It's kind of like a stamina meter. Um, and pretty much as you're blocking, using this kind of block stance, it'll drain your Shachi meter. And once it's drained, you'll kind of like have be guard broken. Um, so you, so this defensive tool, it's um, easier for new players to use, but it does have a, it's on a limited resource. So you have to be careful when you, how long you use it for. Um, and also, the enemy can also block your your text. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's the bar right below their health bar as well. God, every time I see the combos, it's just, oh my god, this is yeah. so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are there any sort of combos that you guys are most excited for people to find out in the game? Oh, so many. Yeah. So many. So many. Yeah. We, we don't want to spoil see. too much, but you know, <laughs> yeah. we, we got a, a very quick look at some of them right yeah, here. Yeah, you'll see in the real battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this isn't even the start of the real battles, huh? This is just the tutorial. So uh, it's right still the, in, to the tutorial. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. The perfect parry here. Yep. So there's a couple of defensive mechanics that I can explain. So first, I mean, we showed off the kind of block stance as like kind of the most basic introductory level of defense. You also have a parry that you can use. Um, you can parry regular attacks, or there is these blue attacks that come in where if you try to use the block stance on it, it'll drain a lot of your stamina, but you can parry it to get what we call is a ghost step. Yeah, let's um, see. We're going to showcase it right here. So right here is a ghost step, and what that is is um, it's this kind of like special uh, defensive tool where you turn, kind of turn the enemy's uh, offense into your offense and kind of take back the advantage and go on the attack. Amazing. You, you, can't, you can't parry the red. Yeah, you can't yeah. parry the red eye attack, but you can do, but you can do this. Yeah, so for the, um, the red attacks, um, yep. they're the other kind of like uh, heavy attacks in the game the enemies will do. And essentially, these red attacks cannot be blocked. They'll go through your block. But instead, you can dodge it. Um, so if you dodge it regularly, nothing will happen. But if you perfectly time a dodge and wait till the last moment to dodge, you'll also get a ghost step, allowing you to kind of get in more damage and weakening the enemy, yeah. opening up for combos as well. I love it. It seems like there's so many opportunities yeah. to do combos. And this is their power surge. <laughs> yeah, so that was the um, ultimate ability in the game. So each weapon will kind of have like a different combination for its ultimate. Um, and you can see in the bottom right hand corner that purple flame under your weapon shows that you have an ultimate charge. Um, kind of just fighting enemies will recharge it, but if you do, if you land ghost steps, it'll recharge it faster. Amazing. And there you go. There you go. First, First finish of the tutorial. Yeah.
Let's go to a real battle. Yeah, yeah. a real battle. <laughs> yeah. 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 I love it. Okay, so I know we've had conversations in the past. You guys have talked about sort of recapturing the, the spirit of that sort of PS1, PS2 area, that yep. creativity. Yep. Yes. Um, so I know this has been a huge focus for you. Um, how do you feel this is reflected in Phantom Blade Zero? Uh, you'll see. You'll see. I think it's full of innovations and very unique consideration about the game mechanics. And we do a really tough work. We wish uh, S game can be in this studio with much resources. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you you can see here. Yeah, let's keep yeah. watching. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's not a Souls. Uh, it's not a typical Souls game. It's something very different. So. This demo obviously is sort of like a vertical slice of gameplay that focuses on combat, so it kind of like teleports you to different yep. parts of the game. Um, in the full game, uh, what can players do between encounters? Is there overworld discovery, like hidden items to find? There are, tons, like of, there are tons of explorations and hidden chests everywhere. And here you can see we can do these assassinations. Yeah, let's do it here. Yeah. Very clean. When you observe from here, you can see the maps are multi-layered, multi-path. It's a 3D map. Although in this demo, we only showcase a very small portion of this. And we can also shoot the other guy. Yep. Yeah, so here it kind of showcases a bit of like creative uses of the phantom edges. Yeah. With the bow, you can kind of observe the environment, snipe yeah. down enemies that you might be, it might be harder to reach with melee combat. Yeah. There are many hidden corners. There will be a chest over here uh, in the real gameplay. Uh, but in the demo, we just take off all the objects. All right, so make note, guys. There's going to be a chest there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Write it down. The guy's <laughs> hidden in the corner. And also something like this. Yeah, we also have like contextual movement in the environment like that. Um, yeah. In fact, there will also be contextual movement during combat as well, um, which we'll showcase later in the demo. But you know, you'll be able to slide down walls, do wall runs across um, different areas, and you can actually cancel all of these and contextual movement options early to kind of find secret areas like this. Yeah, um, this is a secret platform platform uh, with a chest here. All right, another note yeah. to keep track of, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you will know in the future. Uh, there will be a lot of hidden objects hidden in these corners. And now we're going to do another assassination. <laughs> yeah. OK, let's get to the battle. So even the very basic enemy can do this acrobatic movements. So the combat, um, essentially, when both you and the enemy both still have your stamina meters, it'll be this back and forth of like high high speed sword play, where the enemy will parry your attacks, you'll parry the enemy attacks, and then once you break the enemy's um, stamina and kind of break their stance, that opens it up to do a longer combo chain like that. Yeah, I love sort of like the the spin attack that we saw just earlier. It's super reminiscent of like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Yeah, like you precisely. can really tell that there's a lot of those elements in the gameplay. Yeah, pretty reminiscent of the um, like old kung fu movies if you've seen any of them. Absolutely. So something you might know of the environments, um, something that we're going for is that it is very much like um, Chinese martial arts, wuxia inspired, but it's also a combination of global aesthetics as well. Um, S coined the term um, Kung Fu Punk to kind of signify this kind of aesthetics art okay. style. Um, it's a combination of both like um, Chinese iconography with like the wuxia martial arts um, kind of uh, visuals, as well as like steampunk and even some sci-fi elements, kind of like some global aesthetics being put into this as well. So it's really a combination of a lot of things. Let's go to this boss. So this is the first boss in the demo. You can see the attack patterns are a little bit more complicated. So we're looking at this boss right here. How many bosses can people face in the demo? There are three in total. Three in total? Yeah. Would you say, which one would you say is the toughest? Oh, definitely the last one. The last, last one, one is toughest. Yeah. 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 Let's go. 
very nice. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> And now we're moving on to the uh, second part, second level of the demo. Yep. Um, this will just be another boss fight. The first part of the demo was like a sequence of smaller enemies ending with a boss fight, and here we're just going to show off two more of our bosses. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. David, how about you going to play this? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, I would yeah. love to. Now it's David yeah. on the sticks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no uh, pressure. Uh, no the pressure. Long, long sword. Yeah, now you're yeah. carrying a long sword. So you can see that the weapon switched in this level. Um, in the actual game, you'll be able to equip your weapons. But in the demo, we just want to switch them for the player to kind of show off yep. a couple of different weapon variations. Do you guys have a particular weapon that's your favorite uh, to use? I love the dual blades, personally. Dual blades? Yeah. I love the big place. <laughs> <laughs> Very opposite play style. Yeah. 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 Now talk to me about this boss. Who is this and what's sort of your strategy with taking them on? Yeah, so for this boss, um, he features a couple of range attacks, but there's a small gimmick that I'll show you actually yeah. where um, he starts off with this range attack that you can just block at first, or you can parry to save your stamina. But if he does it again later, I'll show you, you can actually run in and parry it if you time it correctly. And here I switch weapons to kind of extend my combo. Oh, and I'm back on the defense. And I can actually weave in my Phantom Edge right here to extend the combo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I animation cancel out of that using a dash so that I can kind of go back to doing my attack. And then we here. see the ghost step. Yeah, yeah. see the ghost step. Oh. I didn't parry it. <laughs> Here he comes again. Oh, Ooh. no. Yeah. <laughs> this one's a lot tougher than the previous one. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We tuned down the difficulty for the demo, but yeah. it's still pretty tough. Yeah, so what, what is sort of the, uh, the difficulty meter, would you say, between the demo and the full game? Well, um, this demo represents um, in the full game if you fully cultivate the, the character. Yeah, so. It'll be, it'll be tougher in the real game if you don't progress the, the character, but it'll be easier if you level up it enough. So this is in the middle, yeah, somewhere. Take potion. So here I use my ultimate to cancel the boss's attack. Yeah. Kind of extending my offense a little bit. And here I kind of ran in and parried the range yeah. attack. Yeah, nice. There we go. There we nice. go. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take him down. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to yeah. take a look? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah. last one. This is the final yeah. boss. All yeah, right. this is yeah. final boss. I have one or two tries if I cannot <laughs> pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we, we've seen a couple bosses so far. This one, I actually we, we saw a glimpse of in one of the previous trailers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is in the previous trailer. How do you, how do you feel now that people actually get to go hands-on again, something that you teased so long ago? Like, is there like a little bit of more pride around moments? Super like this? excited, yeah. and it's also very fun to see people being killed by the boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also this boss has very brutal way to to take your your head off. Yeah, you can see that. Love the this is the boss from the first trailer. <laughs> So in the original trailer, there was a lot of acrobatic elements during this fight, and we wanted to show off that a lot of that that people thought was just cinematic is actually part of gameplay. Yeah, I'll show you how he can kill me. Yeah, if I don't do anything. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. So it's brutal. That is it's so brutal. cool. Yeah. All right, now for real, now for real. Yeah, yeah now for real. <laughs> yeah. 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 
But we have multiple ways to to get this. One of them is climb up the column. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, so like um, column climbing mechanic there was showcased in our first trailer. And even though it looks kind of like just the cinematic in the first trailer, it is actually part of gameplay and a strategy you can use to defeat certain bosses like this. Is that also something that you can use to extend your combos further? Yeah. Or is it mainly as a dodging mechanic? Yeah, so it's open to kind of the player's creativity. I think um, we set up like certain parameters to kind of um, a certain yeah, affordances for the players to play with. And they're here to figure out like different ways to use it. Very cool. Yeah, weaving in some phantom edges again to extend oh, yeah. some combos. So I'll leave it to you. Uh, I'll <laughs> die for this run and you try it again. <laughs> oh, sure. Right? Yeah, that's Because good. I'm about to kill him. Yeah, we can show different style to, to defeat this guy. Yeah. Actually, it's not so easy. <laughs> S is making it look easy. He's probably played the game the most out of everybody. Yeah. 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 Cool. Very cool. Yeah. We saw the uh, the sort of like flail that he has yeah. switch to almost like a shield with like yeah yeah yeah. Out of it. Actually, this thing, this weapon is a is a fantasy weapon in Chinese wuxia culture. It's called the Chue Dizen, naming blood drop. Yeah, it's a very brutal weapon that can go to your head and take your head off. Yeah. And your head is collected inside this thing. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So you can kind of have it as a trophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can <laughs> have this awesome. one trophy. Now, talk to me a little bit. I know, I know we talked about the sort of style of the Kung Fu Punk uh, yeah. aesthetic. How do you go about designing, you know, kind of key moments like this, you know, uh, having this, I guess, sort of temple that you walk into and yeah. the enemy waiting for yeah. you? What's the, what's the thought process behind this? Sort yeah, of you part? always see a combination of traditional things, uh, like this temple and everything, and you also see very creepy and steampunk elements like the, the shield and the, the mechanic hands. So we always use uh, a very nice combination of different cultures to make this Kung Fu Punk. Amazing. Nice. There we go. Yeah. Well That's it. On. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that was incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that's it. Soul Frame, David, thank you so much for joining me here and giving us this look at Phantom Blade Zero. Thank you for having us. Thank now, you. Yeah. Before we go, yep. let's check out this brand new trailer. Phantom Blade Zero is in development right now, and as always, for all things Phantom Blade Zero, keep it locked on IGN. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much.